So the XR crew I've been working with has been messing around with this Dirt Track and Two app, working on some stuff for uh, some stuff down the road. So I thought I'd uh, better learn it. Going to jump in, done some hot laps, and it's a 3.99 app. I think I paid 4.27 because I had to pay some taxes or something like that. Ran about uh, 15 minutes or so, and just going to jump right in. Mayhem 181 is my call sign. Going to be doing a career mode. When the street stocks, they've got uh, let's see, they've got uh, super late models, crate late models, modifieds, B mods, and these street stocks. You don't really have to be very knowledgeable on how to set things up. You just put the hammer down, tap on the screen a little bit. You can set it up to steer the car by tilting your phone. Even if you've got ability to put like a controller into it. You can actually use a controller for it. So three laps of qualifying here in my first race, seven lap heat race and a 10 lapper here at the cushion pushing track. Oh, that's a little bit wide there. Whoa, hang on, she's starting to shimmy. All right, well, that's pretty good. Sitting on the uh, front uh, after qualifying, that'll put us on the front row of a heat race. A lot of fun from the 15 minutes or so that I was messing around with it. We'll see how it goes. Thought I'd do a few races here for some mayhem fun. All right, whoa. I had the hammer down, and that guy just came flying in there. Better get to it. I've watched a few videos, and I've seen the, the guys just never let off the throttle, I just have a hard time turning the car, so every once in a while I'll burp the throttle or drag the brake. I don't know. That Lester is hanging tough with me so far. All right, two laps down. Nice wide track here, a little bull ring with the cushion pushing track. So far, so good. Hopefully no lap traffic. That was my biggest problem is working through traffic. Oh, maybe there is some traffic coming up. Pretty easy game to learn and have some fun with. My four bucks so far, I've got it out of it. I can tell you that right now with this dirt tracking too. Oh, maybe there will be some lap traffic. Two laps to go here of the seven lapper. Can kind of hear a car. All right, Flagman's got the white flag out. Sorry, dude. Hopefully, hopefully this game isn't like Wreckfest where they remember that you run over them. And we'll take the win in the heat race. That should put us on the front row for the main event. Feature time, 10 laps is the distance. Wow, like I was standing still. Already was thinking we were going to do well. Dude, I can't let off the gas and everything. The guy just stopped. Whoa, she's starting to shimmy. Got to get used to this. Not used to using my phone. So used to using a wheel. So we'll see if we can get ourselves back to the front. Well, who's that guy? Well, thanks for nothing. This is kind of like iRacing uh, street stock rookie racing. Just plow right through you. It's a good thing I didn't recognize the name because I'd remember it. All right, so now we have to, I guess this is good practice to driving through traffic. Probably going to really help our championship battle out of the block. 26 races. Oops. All right, so he saved it. That's all right. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, well, sorry about that. Whoa. Oh, man. This is not a good first race. Maybe I should have spent more than 15 minutes practicing before. That's the leader. Well, you don't have to worry about setup or anything like that. Whatever the setup is is what you get. Just got to basically learn to drive the thing 
That's all you really got to do. 13 seconds behind the, the leader. Well, yeah, he's right behind me. So I'm trying different things now with throttle and letting it off a little bit. Because obviously... Hammering it down and just turning the wheel wasn't working for me, so shouldn't be this hard. I believe the street stock is the entry level on the game, and I'm sucking it pretty good so far. White flag lap. Recovered to 15th after falling to 20th. Uh, 14th, do we get one more? Nope, we're going to have to settle for 14th, a whopping six points, so we're going to be already trailing things in this championship bid. So our next race is the Elbows Up race track. Elbows Up Speedway, time trials going on right now. This looks like a tight little racetrack. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of lap traffic and a lot of chaos here with this one. We'll see if maybe we get a good qualifying run. Got to redeem ourselves after our fourth, 14th place finish on that last race. Last qualifying lap. A little faster that last one. We'll see how it all plays out. Drag the brake. Did we go faster? Look at that. Only one in the nine-second bracket. Well, look how well it turned out for us the last race. So don't get excited yet here. All right, here is our heat race. Whoa. Something happened there. It was sleeping at the start, apparently, or they didn't respond well to what I was trying to thought I was doing. So we're going to have to try to race our way back up to the front. Where you finish in your heat race is where you start the feature. Heat one is the inside. Heat two is the outside. No bees, so that's good. Whoa, sorry. Somebody put me in that predicament. Trying not to be the guy that runs over everybody. You can do that. Trying to race clean. Back to the lead now. Apparently Mr. Clark didn't get the message that I was trying to play everybody nice. Green flag waving, two to go. That was a good recovery after a crappy start. Now just put it all together for one more lap. Yeah, this is going to be a lap traffic nightmare. And, well, at least we're two for two for heat races. Let's see if we can get a better start here. Well, that worked pretty well. Oh, well, Mr. Clark already beating on us already. Trying to turn us. I think we let our first feature lap there. These guys are pretty serious. Nah, we didn't leave that lap. Thompson crowding us just a little bit. See if we can crowd him down. Oh, we got a bunch of cars here. Look out. Well, at least we saw it before it happened. Put ourselves into the lead. That guy was going the wrong way. These guys are still trying to get out of the way. Quarter mile racing at its finest. Stacking them up. Having a pit party there. Whoa, is this wreck fest? Lost the lead there from that guy. Apparently he's been hanging around my crew too much. As they have a tendency to hit the beverages before I get off the track. Oh, acting like I hit the beverages there. Oh, man. That is not good. Falling back to the back of the pack already. See if we can regroup. Lap uh, seven this time at the line. I think we're stuck in lap traffic, so we might have to work pretty hard to, to get ourselves a few spots. AI a little crazy on this one. Having some fun, just not very good at it. Last lap. 
Oh, no. Well, he was a lap car, so I don't feel so bad. Oh, no. We're going to have to drive across the finish line backwards. <laughs> All right, a top 10. We'll take that. Fell to 14th in the points, but uh, we're still alive after two races. We're heading up to the Rocky Mountain area, Flood Plains Speedway. Relapse for time trial seven. All right. Kind of learning these tracks as we go. Only raced a couple of them. Still trying to master driving. And how to be fast and not overcorrect. I didn't even see what the time was there. Doesn't matter. Even if we put on the pole. Whoa. Don't hit the wall. That slows you down there, Chumley. We're probably going to have to live on that first lap, whatever it was. Unless I can regroup here and nail this corner. All right. Still fast time, but uh, can't put it together for the feature. Here we go. Heat race action now. Blood Flames Speedway. Saw one trying to get down underneath there. This track's a little more my style. It's a little wider, especially for a rookie like me, the noob. Hoping no lap traffic so we can at least get a decent start for the, the feature. This way, when I screw it up, I won't look so bad. Like the last race, getting a ninth place finish. This will be lap three into the books. So far, so good. See those big haulers and semis down there on the back stretch? Yeah, that wouldn't be me. I'd probably have a dirty old van that has a trailer that looks like you need to weld just to get us home. I think I could afford one of those things. Probably couldn't even afford the insurance on one of those things. Especially when you finish ninth all the time and you should be winning. All right. Two to go that time at the line. So far, it looks like no lap traffic. Haven't had to use any tear-offs. White in the air with the flag man. One to go. Don't screw it up. All right. Another front row start, it looks like. Wish they'd pay points for heat race wins and do a lot better. All right, moment of truth here. Can we hold the lead going down into the turn number one? All right, so far, so good. Wave to the haulers. My crew would not be there. We've got somebody looking. Jared Hayes looking to the inside. Looks like he'll lead lap number one on me. Man, it's a lot harder when, you, when you're not racing on easy mode. <laughs> oh, look out, traffic. It's almost like they were waiting for us. All right, so mashing the gas all the way around here hasn't played very well the last couple of races, so I'm going to work more on not having the throttle in the corner as much. We'll see if that helps us. Little counter steer. So far, so good. That was lap four. Coming to the halfway point. So far, so good. This is probably our best feature so far. Look at that. Leading at the halfway point. Wouldn't mind a gift certificate or something for that accomplishment. Not getting too excited about things yet. May come into lap traffic. We'll see. Four to go. So far, so good. It's almost like they're just sitting back there waiting for me to screw up. Which would be the move I would make if I've watched myself. Green 
came out. We have two to go. Shouldn't be any lap traffic. This is my kind of track. Can we get more tracks like this on the circuit? Okay, the big bed sheet in the air, white one to go. See a bunch of track workers in the infield with their arms crossed. Not real impressed with my performance so far this year. Take that, victory lane. Ha ha. Moved into the top five, it looks like. Yes, top five in the point standings after three races. Got time for one more here. Slide Job City 2100, so it's a night race. Looks like all the distances are the same, so let's go. I don't think I drove side Slide Job City. Sounds like a tight racetrack, though. Oh, this isn't very big, but it's wide. It is wide, so there's at least that for us. A little bit low off that exit. If this is like Dodge City or something like that. I might have been a little bit too tail happy there. Well, qualifying doesn't seem to be our problem. It's running in traffic. Oh, smackaroonie. Maybe qualifying is our a little bit of a concern. Getting too cocky. All right, how do we end up? All right, I'll take that. Again, we qualify. Great. It's just when we get into traffic. Whoa, we're like three wide. I thought I was supposed to be the, the guy that set the pace. There you go. Take that for jumping the start. Moving to my inside, Mr. Gilmore. All right. I don't know if you can look around in the game, like see what's going on behind you, but I suppose you can't really in the race car. Nobody in my crew would be willing to help me out. They'd be busy videotaping it, so when I screw up, like just like that, they could show it to me over and over again. Might have a little bit of lap traffic. Got one car there coming up. Three to go this time at the fifth start finish line. Where's the flag stand at this track? I have to look for it. It's not on the outside. Oh, it's on the inside. Okay. Might have been a little bit too aggressive there. This will be the uh, last lap. Here, car is getting a little bit closer. But we will take the heat went three or four for four for the heat races. Man, if those paid, paid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gilmore. Finishing last. All right, going to the green flag for the main event. Mr. Clark doing the same thing. So ask Mr. Gilmore how it worked out for him that when he tried that. All right. Have to work up on that higher line here. I don't know if if there's like a racing groove, if the track wears out. I don't see the track changing. I don't know if the computer and app would be able to handle that. Probably not. Still having a good time with it, though. So far, so good. Maybe we can go two for two. Way too early to get those chickens to market. I don't think they've hatched just yet especially with that lap traffic I see up here. They're a little unpredictable. They do apparently like to bang the wall there. Some wall bangers. Let's see what happens. Oh, a little bit loose there. Well, now they've come off the wall. All right, slowing down a little bit. Halford might close in on us. See which way to go here. Wants to stay on the lead lap, apparently. We'll slide job you. Hence the name of the track, I guess. All right. Oh, uh, Mr. Gilmore. Hopefully these guys don't have memories. Oh, no. 
we lose the lead? No, that was Mr. Gilmore. All right, so far so good. Oh, that might be Mr. Halford right there with a look-see down underneath. Just did a tear off there. Really don't think I needed it. It's just kind of the annoyance thing. I think I can still see just fine. Getting a little nervous up here on the high side. So far it's paying off though. We'll dive down low. Last lap, checkered flag, two for two. See how we're doing in that championship run. Tied with Flying Squirrel at the top. Uh, Flying Squirrel Games, by the way, is the one that makes this dirt track in two. Just $3.99 on the app. It'll be a lot of fun if you want to try it out. Uh, we'll try some more racing here. We'll do some more uh, career racing down the road, but uh, thanks for joining me. Next time when we do a little more mayhem, we'll be heading to the Dirt Track and Motorplex. It looks like down in the Texas area. Well, get the app, have some fun with it. Until next time, we'll talk to you at the races.